arrived at the hotel last night and someone said to me, you won't believe the energy pouring out of this room and are they ever right? Thank you. But I, I feel, I feel you should know I'm really just a, a kid reporter who still gets up every day and gets to ask questions in the world and travel to far-flung places. Although I'm also the girl who remembers her first Disney experience. It's slightly tamer, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit tamer than yours. I am in, on Sterling Road in Louisville, Kentucky. My mother's a third grade teacher. Great. And my dad has returned from World War II. And because of the GI Bill, the great American GI Bill, got to build a house. And all of our friends got together and we saw something. I will never forget. I'm not kidding. This is 65 more years ago. We saw some tiny little mice who had needles and threads, and they were singing Cinderella, Cinderella, night and day at Cinderella. And my eyes opened, my heart leapt, and I think for the first time, I felt a delight of all that was possible beyond Sterling Road, and I mean that, which brings me to Bob Iger because I've always felt, Bob, that you are the guardian of that wonder, and you're the guardian of imagination, and in this transactional world in which we all get immersed in our screens and our isolation, you believe that it, it can arc around the globe still and go all the way from China to Kentucky and unite us as families and as human beings. And when I first met you. I, I was stunned by the level of detail and enthusiasm. And the day before yesterday, Bob told me about something new that's coming. I will not mention it, but <laughs> it's so great. And to hear you talk about the camera angle that made the feeling possible, that made the entire astonishment of it exist, reminded me that 30 years has not changed that flame you carry for all of us in our dreams. Not to mention the support you've given ABC News. And always reminding us to head for the horizons, raise our sights, raise our sights. And I too am so grateful to be in this class of 2019 with Robin Roberts. Life-giving, amazing Robin Roberts. I don't know, you don't remember the first time I fell in love with you completely, but we were on TV, I was introducing you, I mangled your name, I mangled ESPN, I mangled why you were there, and the camera went to you and you went, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it was forever. And again, to the rest of you, I'm, I'm in awe. I also just want to say, Bob, I stole all the soap from the Disney Hotel last night. I hope that's okay. I feel, I feel it's ungrateful given everything you've done for me, but I also took the shampoo. I took the little dental kit. And because my wonderful team that is here gave me so many balloons in the middle of the night, I was staggering around and I knocked the chocolate Chewbacca off the top of the desk and I was trying to scrape it back together and remold it in my room to be worthy of this. I am so pleased to be here. I am so proud to be here. Thank you for the horizons. And thank all of you in the words of those little mice. I think they're standing in a balcony at the last scene. May your dreams come true.